We're going to switch into dance this morning and talk about an organization known as Dancing Classrooms. This is a social development program for 5th and 8th grade children across the nation. This aims to give children the faith in themselves to face whatever challenge the day or life may bring. I'm going to show you a video right now of some children involved in Dancing Classrooms. You can just see the life in their movement and the light in their eyes. Was I calm and want to do this? No. Now I'll ask him, let's go fishing. He'll want to go fishing. Get emotional. I feel very happy and thankful that I have this kind of gift. Yes, I dance with my daddy. I've danced so much that I think I want to take the classes now. <laughs> and it has really improved the relationship between our family. It brought them closer together in the household because instead of just doing homework together, they got to practice and dance together. My little sister thinks it's fun because she thinks we're playing. So she sees me doing it. She just wants to dance too. The students in the lower grades love the ballroom dancing. They're looking forward to being part of our dancing classrooms. They wait from kindergarten to fifth grade. They wait. Can't we have it now? We're like, no, you gotta be a fifth grader. So it's, they really do look forward to it. We see such a camaraderie amongst the boys and the girls. I've really got to bond with my classmates through dancing classrooms. And I actually found some people that I have a lot of stuff in common with them. So now instead of just hanging out with my friends, I hang out with everybody else because I can trust them. And I feel like I changed my attitude. When I go outside with my friends, no more do I say, hey, you. I call them by their name or I go up to them and say, excuse me if they're talking to somebody. Dancing makes me feel free. Now that I've taken ballroom dancing classes, I feel I have potential to do anything in the world. I'm gonna teach other kids how to do other kid dances. It's been great to have her in the program. We're looking forward to next year and the year after that. I think this is year three for us. It's a tradition here, so there's no way we would ever not have it. Lucy, I know you are a big advocate for dancing classrooms. In fact, you even went to New York to get trained for this program. That's right. Any of the TAs who are teaching artists in Monroe County go to New York, and there are several of us here in Monroe County. My husband, Leon, is one. We have a veterinarian in Marathon. We have a watercolor artist in Key West, a, a voice teacher in Key West. All of us have gone up to New York to learn to be a teaching artist. Mm -hmm. And you have brought it to Monroe County now. Yes. Why was this so important for you to bring to the Keys? Dancing is fabulous, as we all know, but this also teaches children to be ladies and gentlemen, that we can interact in person, unlike, you know, all of the stuff that's going on today. Mm -hmm. So it just, and the looks on their faces when the first time that they come in and they're really totally scared oh my gosh, and then at the end of the first class, it's like, wow, I really can do this. Plus, it integrates with the school curriculum. And if, if I have a minute, I'd like to read, this is what, from one of my teachers, from Holly Roberts, who I'm working with at Glen Archer for the second time. Um, they've been w doing this for five years, and the students have tremendously been benefited from this experience. Ballroom dancing is not only the thing on which they're being educated, but they've learned how to behave like ladies and gentlemen. The lessons have taught them how to treat everyone with respect and to receive respect gracefully. This program ties into the academic standards as well. Students write reflections at the beginning and end of the program. This type of writing is stressed in the fourth and fifth grades, and the children are also asked to create a project on their choice of dance. This provides the classroom teacher the opportunity to teach students how to properly research a topic. Overall, the DC program has had a remarkable impact on our students. Mm -hmm. So that, that like says it all. Mm -hmm. This is so much more than just dancing. I mean, the video explained that too. This is about social interaction. It's about teaching children so much that they can't learn otherwise. Yes, and it is part of the school program. It's not an after the school. If the principal and the teacher say, yes, we want this program, and of course we'd love to be in all the schools, but so far we're just in a few, it's every single fifth grader. Mm -hmm. 
takes part in this during classroom time. Mm -hmm. They come in an escort position. They learn maybe two dances a day. There are actually 20 lessons, mm -hmm. and they learn six dances in less than 20 lessons because the 20th lesson is where they're showing off to their parents and the rest of the school. Mm -hmm. So it's totally amazing. And even if they go on break, sometimes we'll have like the Thanksgiving break, come back, okay, what did we do two weeks ago? Oh, we did this, we did green light, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They just don't forget. How many of you danced with your parents? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I taught my mama, I taught my grandmother. Mm -hmm. So they're teaching others. Isn't that something? I wish that I had something like this in my classrooms because this would be something to look forward to every day that it was offered. It is, and there are studies also mm -hmm. that children who know they have dance in classrooms that day of school don't miss school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It actually gets them to school that day. I understand completely. I would get there too. And is it easy to implement in the schools, Lucy, if they're interested, schools who haven't done it yet, is it easy to make it happen? Yes and no. Everybody sees the value and wants it, but with our days so crammed with mm -hmm. things that have to be done and getting for testing and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. it's, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. However, the principals and teachers that want to make it work do. Mm -hmm. And they can make it happen with you, Lucy. And if anybody wants more information, you can just contact Lucy by yes. sending her an email or giving her a call at the number you see below. Lucy, thank you for being here. Oh, thank morning. you for having me. And sharing information about this amazing program. I'll be back right after these messages. Please stay with me.